In August 2015, we got a message from Deb at American Black and Tan Coonhound Rescue on a Saturday afternoon that a dog needed help in our area. He had been adopted by someone from ABTCR and somehow had not been returned to the rescue when the owner had to give him up. He bounced around different homes, was tied up outside for a long time, and finally found his way to a shelter. Thank goodness the microchip came back to ABTCR. We weren't sure what was going to happen because our resident dog, ABTCR Alumbella, has a spotty track record with other dogs. We knew we had to do something, so we went to the shelter and picked up Bo, then Noah the next day. Bo was lumpy and bumpy and never would have made it out of the shelter alive. He had a large growth on his face, another on his hindquarter, and a large hanging ulcerated mass on his front paw. His nose had been scraped raw trying to escape from the cage due to his extreme separation anxiety. We got him home. The initial meeting with Bella went well at some tennis courts near our house, and then we cleaned him up in the tub. He was so sad, but incredibly gentle and loving. He quickly became a Velcro dog. Where we went, Bo went. We originally thought he was mute because he didn't bark for at least six months, but he made up for lost time at mealtimes for the rest of his life. He quickly became Phil's best friend, and the two shared cereal every morning. I'm pretty sure Bo liked cereal more than most people. He had surgery to remove his lumps, and we realized that he was home, with us. We couldn't bear the thought of someone leaving him again. He had found his forever spot. He liked to go on adventures, but his favorite place by far was his home, with us on his bed. He loved mealtime like no other dog and laid down each night for a sound sleep with gusto and excitement. Bo started to slow down about three years after he arrived at our home. So when Laura would leave for work in the morning, she would pick him up and put him next to Phil in bed so the two could cuddle until it was time to get up. We had to install a baby gate on the stairs so that he wouldn't follow us up when we just ran upstairs to get something. He developed kidney disease and declined more rapidly than we expected. Up until his last day in April 2019, Bo was loved fiercely and was our big gentle boy. He was our Bobo, protector of the yard, lover of cereal, and master snuggle partner. The day he went across the Rainbow Bridge was devastating, but his memory will live on in our hearts. He was a one-of-a-kind dog that will never, ever be forgotten.